Here at Leeds Teaching Hospitals, we recognise the value of listening, whether that's listening to our patients, their suggestions and ideas for improvement, or listening to our staff and their views on how we can improve the services that we deliver. Learning from feedback is very important to us and it's the best way that we can make sure that we improve our services across the whole trust, listening to both staff and patients and the public. And we've been working hard to take all those suggestions about how we can improve and turn them into action. And here are just a few. Many of our patients find their time in hospital difficult because of unfamiliar environments and routine. This can be especially true of patients with dementia. When a patient was admitted to J91, they were upset and agitated. The team took time to listen to the concerns of the patient and her daughter and to find out her likes and dislikes. The patient settled as she got to know the ward, the routine and the staff around her. And a situation that started with anxiety and distress ended with laughter, smiles and made the hospital stay a little bit easier. During 2017, we talked to clinical staff about the way we were being paid for our services. The current system wasn't flexible enough to support us when we wanted to make changes that would benefit patients and also to make better use of our resources. Following positive feedback from clinical staff, we now have a new way of being paid by the CCG and NHS England for the services we provide. It's called the Aligned Incentive Contract. This means we can continue to transform how we deliver services to really meet the needs of our patients. The Paediatric Sepsis Screening Tool has been developed through listening to feedback from staff across our children's services and has gone through 14 cycles to arrive at its current version. This is a grassroots developed tool with patient safety at its heart and goes above and beyond the guidelines set out by NICE ensuring we are leading the way nationally. Local and national NHS organisations have been approaching us to find out more about this homegrown project, refined through our staff's ability to listen to one another to build a better method of care for our patients. Since last year and the Wayfinder work that was undertaken, the digital informatics team have been using listening and learning to understand what clinicians need from our systems. The most popular Wayfinder was to move to a single sign-on, to take away the need to log in nine different times across our different systems, and move to a simple way, a tap-and-go way of logging in. That's now implemented across the Trust and our clinical systems are now moving forward and delivering single sign-in for all of the different solutions we have. Looking after children in the intensive care unit is as challenging as it is rewarding. But our people were telling us that they were experiencing high levels of stress and that they were feeling overwhelmed. Because of this, the team developed a supportive service led by two of our senior clinical psychologists who provided confidential one-to-one -one support resilience training and other aspects of psychological care to members of the team working in the department. Results have been really positive, with significant reductions in staff calling in poorly due to workplace stress and team members reporting feeling much better overall. In addition to this, the service has recently also been shortlisted for the Nursing Times Award. Our major trauma centre provides care to over 1,600 critically ill patients a year here at Leeds General Infirmary, many of them arriving by Yorkshire Air Ambulance. Listening to medical experts, our partners and stakeholders, we recently upgraded the helipad to include lighting for nighttime flying and new firefighting equipment. This means we can now deliver life-saving care to patients arriving by ambulance regardless of day or night. For example, recently a patient came all the way from Nottinghamshire, passing two other major trauma centres where nighttime landing was not possible. Here, regardless of day or night, we can support patients across the region and beyond. We all know how important a good night's sleep is, particularly to be fresh and energetic for the next day, but for our patients, good night's sleep is essential to aid and assist recovery. So that's why we started the Calm at Night Charter. And it's all about guaranteeing our patients a good night's sleep 
and it came about from suggestions from our patients who found themselves being disturbed by noise at night. So the Calm at Night Charter guarantees a good night's sleep, provides earplugs, eye masks, to ensure that bedtime means bedtime.